get somebody to to really Alrighty. drop those beats. Yeah. <clears throat> Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Get It Podcast for January 14th, 2020. As we bring it in with this chill beat, it's very atmospheric. Just imagine. <clears throat> Imagine you drifting through space, lights all around you, going at warp speed. You good? I'm good. I'm I'm, I'm a beast. I'm doing. I'm doing. I am doing as we do it. All right. All right, everybody. As we wind in. Let everybody gather around. Sometimes you gotta let people gather, gather around. You know? Gather around the campfire. Just that's why clubs. Uh, every time I go to, a, um, not that I go to a ton of clubs nowadays, but I I do go out and I go to uh, selective you're gonna, selective gonna, um, club nights. Relive your your younger days. I'm not reliving it. I'm living it in a different fashion. So before mm. I used, it used to be a certain way. Now I'm doing it this way. Doesn't mean I can't appreciate the music. I can't appreciate, you know, the the environment. I'm doing it different, but it's really funny that what they still do. Eat that that's mic. That's not different. Eat the mic. What? Oh, so so Deep dirty. throat it. Nah, bro. It's a your department. <laughs> uh, so. Uh, Whoa. Okay. So. Uh, so, anyways, what happens is, is that they still have this thing, where basically, even though the club's not filled up, or the venue, we'll just call it the venue. Right, whatever the venue is, it doesn't have, have necessarily have to be a club, but like if they have a, an any type of event or artist there, they basically hold back the line. And I go inside because I don't, I don't, you know, I don't really like waiting on lines. I think it's a waste of time. I'd rather spend the money. <clears throat> My time is valuable, and it has a certain value on it. And I'm not going to stand on line for like two hours, like a like a schmo, um, and and. Just be like, ooh. You know, back when I was doing uh, Task Rabbit, I stood in line for money. Yeah, for but see, people. but yeah, but you know, you were yeah, but you know what, you were sp- okay. But uh, that's a good, that's a good. I don't think you were standing in line for money, but somebody had paid you, yeah, to do that because uh-huh. they realized that they had something else to do that right. was going to be time is valuable. So that time, time is, is va- money. So whatever time they had, I said, oh, okay, this doesn't equate to this. So this is this is more valuable to me right now to pay somebody to do it. So I'll pay mm. to get in front of the line to get past so that way I don't have to deal with the the whole rigmarole. Right. You know? And That's they why just at hold. Disneyland they charge more for the, the line pass skip. You know, the skip. Well yeah, they charge called. more for the line pass skip. Now they not only do they charge more for the line pass, but then there's like <clears> a <throat> a whole app that you have to pay a little extra for you to even use the line. Because you used to be able to go right. in and get the ticket. And now you have to get a ticket, and then get the uh, the the pad like the interface, basically the app, in order to get the ticket. Hmm. So like, if you want to get, otherwise you have to walk on one side of the park, get the ticket, come back, and use it. Now you you can do it from your app, but you have to pay a premium. You have to pay a few bucks extra for yeah. the year. I don't know, <clears throat> but it's 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 amazing how with Disney will literally fight for every dime they can find. Uh, if they got a million people who have a, a season pass and they'll charge an extra dollar fifty, because they'll know people that's will pay one point five million dollars. Yeah, they know people will pay. How for crazy it. is that? You know, that, that's going to show you the number of. That, the I mean, we get in line for everything. We pre-order stuff, you know, to uh, to avoid waiting uh, a particular a particular piece of technology, video game. I mean, I guess you could te- you could technically count waiting in line. As, you know, waiting for certain technologies to arrive and just like being being first to everything because and certain certain apps and technology that can, you can utilize. <laughs> maybe it's in your best interest to get that piece of tech for your business. Absolutely. Whatever, Absolutely. And you can make more money with that as well. Well, so I think technology. I see, I think there is like certain types of technologies that's like, OK, this is not I, I don't need to have this right now. I don't, I need it. It's more of a want. Right. So you kind of have to. 
you have to. Well, you get a fuel efficient car, then you can save money on gas. Well, exactly, more, more, exactly. You know, but do you buy the right away? Do you buy the eighty thousand dollar fuel efficient car? Do you buy the thirty five thousand dollar fuel efficient car? You know? What does the eighty thousand one have? That well, that's what you got to do. Well, I mean, it all depends. <laughs> I mean, everything. It's just funny to me that that. Um, Let me uh, here. I'll, I'll put. My, I'm gonna put your. Uh, <clears throat> your little lower third on so people coming in know oh, who you yes. are the new people so, new people i'm all um, about the new people i want to be i want to meet the new people do do new things meet and, and greet the new people here we are with and even if you're not people intro. if you got if you got new new aliens i'll, I'll yeah, greet them too yeah. right all types in, intergalactic folk some people some people like uh they're like when we used to do videos they're like oh yeah this way this right here is the subscribe button and then some and then they changed it and then everyone well it was like originally a youtube had the subscribe button or the 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 bar to the side and now it's like beneath well right? one time it was oh, to the right immediately to yeah, the right yeah 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 that's up what at I'm the top about. Yeah. but they just kept well, on changing the page right. design and essentially uh it's funny like, we we got what we got now, now people have to get trained to to do the, the well, that's standard why, protocol of like, subscribe. Well, that's why I. That's why um, it's all a game. I kind of stop pointing in certain directions because I used to point in the direction of like, "Hey, subscribe over here," and they changed it. So now yeah. It's so just, what happens to those older videos? Like, well, you're, you're fucked. <laughs> well, <laughs> well that's you, what I'm saying. You can't. You can't like switch them. Like, well, they're there. I mean, so. So yeah, you can't switch that technically. Um, Is there a, a magical software where you can replace YouTube videos? I've never heard of that. No, you can't. You can't. Um, you can't really replace YouTube videos. Yeah. Um, I just uploaded my my documentary video for the top my favorite docs, and I forgot to put like numbers in front of them, and I'm like, shit. Well, you can like, update the title. The you could up. Thing. You can update the title. Um, you could update titles and stuff, uh, but you, and you could update links in the description and you can update a lot of stuff. You just can't, change you can't change the video. Itself. Yeah. You can't change the actual video. Um, because I can understand why they, they do that too. I mean, like you can kind of really game the system if you really want to just, right. cause like you, you could change the video <laughs> left and right and. Let's say the the video that you upload is like completely different content, and it's just people are like thrown off by by what it is, and it confuses the the out or the um yeah the marketing system or that the um you know the hashtags the the metadata et cetera um yeah that would just cause a whole lot of problems, but. If there's a way that you could like edit in certain things, I feel like that could be a solution. Or you like edit in, edit in maybe. A, let's say there's a piece of news, for example, that you reported on and it was wrong. <clears throat> it would be nice to have like an option to do an adjustment to a specific part of the video. Maybe even, you know, just slice it in as like. So people know it was edited, and they can see like the first iteration of it and the second iteration of it. I think it would be it would be helpful because a lot of those new shows they have to like re-upload or you know upload a, an edit to the to the video that they reported falsely on. Um, yeah, it's pretty it's pretty annoying, and you're like, oh yeah, this guy didn't get it right, like because the information changed. Well, yeah. yeah. It's, uh, but yeah, again, I understand. Why, I mean, why it's yeah, there. but you know what? It messes up all the metadata. Yeah, well, stuff. also not even just the metadata, but like if you essentially, how can I say this? You could upload something, and then that's what it is, and everybody saw it like that, and all of a sudden you change it out, and it's something totally different, and it's already gotten ranked, and it's already yeah, indexed, yeah. and then it's just it's a totally different product, and you're like, what? What? You can kind of like game the system there, right? right. When you and then you can. Send it to someone else, and be like, "Oh, look at this video! It got like millions of yeah, hits." Yeah, you and control it's like a, it's people. Fucking, huh? Yeah, exactly. And it's the fucking that's how we Rick that, that, that yeah we got that's Everybody how we got the that's how that's how we got the two girls one cup thing going around back in the day. <laughs> if anybody remembers that, 
I won't even go into that. That's a little, opening a whole different. Yeah, let's not. A whole different. Cu- I would can. Uh, there's a whole different cup. <laughs> you know, it, it's so that. crazy how long, how far, how far back that is, like internet wise. Wow. Yeah. How long ago it was? <laughs> was that, but it's so it's was sta- that? it's was so that over a it's like ago? it's burned into my skull, like that's been burned into my skull that uh that legit uh, it's part of wikipedia history it's part of history. yeah it's so yeah it's so 2007 it's so, that was over a decade ago wow i was yeah dude in high school yeah yeah 2007 what was i doing 2007 Anyways, a whole lot of interesting let's get on stuff. Track. Let's get on track. Let's. Uh... We're always in track. So if anybody's watching us for the first time, for the first time, you should be watching us all the time for the first time all over again. I'm David. If you didn't know. Uh, and should I do the lower third again? Yes, do we'll it. do it again. Because it's it's so <coughs> so sexy, fan- so fancy. It's like uh, neon lights. It's like names are, name is up in lights in Vegas. So fancy and uh, fancy schmancy. I'll do it again. Okay, so first so, on the yeah. docket, let's just roll into it. We have emotional data. I so, don't think we, we didn't pre uh, discuss this, so I'm excited to, to learn about the emotional data. Um, I don't even know what that means. Okay, so <coughs> I mean, that's a good question. <coughs> we're I'm all emotional pieces of data i guess or collections of data in a sense uh in a metaphysical sense true so <clears throat> push on my glasses a little bit so you like i'm gonna move my glasses here we go i'm gonna get all nerd on this here we go here we go gotta, gotta straighten up so uh so emotional data um so you probably heard of the term uh big data right you've heard that term before where that's basically where like all these privacy laws are come into effect for like websites and such. Um, th- yeah. So basically all, all these privacy laws uh, that are coming to effect like COPA, GDPR. Um, there's another one, ADA. Uh, there's just so much now because like, the internet you know, we talked about this lately. That internet's considered like a necessity now. Okay, and uh, basically, there's the big data. Meaning, <clears throat> well, you can pull that up too if you want. Oh, big data. First. <laughs> so big, yeah. So big, big data, data is the aggregation of all the the demographics. Um, so basically, it's just a generalization of large, demographics. Large the, data sets that may be <laughs> analyzed computationally to reveal patterns trends big associations so that's especially reading so officially the over the last 10 years that's what facebook that's why facebook is so powerful because they've originally they you know they had your personal information meaning just your name yes then you got the per- people that you you know talk to and hang out um they got a lot of stuff on you initially you gave it to them right and then essentially after that um uh, Essentially, after that, it, it went into, okay, well, now you're interacting. And now when you go somewhere, okay, and these are for people who don't really know, and if you're watching this, and it's quite all right. You know, we're not expecting you to know everything. I mean, no one knows everything, right? So how the internet kind of works is if you go to a website, you know, you have a cache. And what that is is, uh, you know, in modern-day browsers, you'll deposit uh, a file, or file system it'll preload so that way you have the nice fast internet as you as you know it or you you know you hope to know it and what will happen is the the whole basically what they do is they drop a thing called cookie they drop a cookie right or a pixel Mm -hmm. right they call them cookies but they're really like pixels so basically it just it kind of takes all the information now once it it can't it knows basically it's it's basically a, like a tracker. tracker yeah it's basically yeah. like a tracker if you don't clean your browser like you literally and even if you do sometimes it's still there depending it's on like what browser you shake using. someone's hand and you leave a little <laughs> bit of dna on your hand yeah so it's just like it. so lots of most people if you go to a website you're not like immediately clearing your cache 
clearing all your cookies. Mm-hmm. You got to go you do wash a deep your hands, registry. Sometimes, sometimes there's some, <coughs> some particles from someone else's hand that you can so you can steal and so. But that's just clone a, them. that's just a pe- <laughs> yeah. But that's just a piece of the pie. Okay, um, that's just that's just a piece essentially. <clears throat> the other yeah. piece is yeah. okay. So it gets that data right. So that's yeah. a whole data set in itself. So that basically tells you, uh, hey, we got. You know, we know what sites you're visiting. We know, we know what's, uh, you know, what you're look. You know, uh, you're going to YouTube. You're going to Facebook. Right, right. Uh, you're yeah, going let's to this. not make this a, heat, right, a lesson. Right. But, but anyway, yeah, yeah you got to have a little context, though, Brian. So, so essentially, so you have that that data set, right? You have the big data set, and it's comparing with everything else that you do too. Your credit card, where you're buying history. You know, you have everything. So now all these big companies, you're doing business on the web. In any way, shape, or form, and when I mean a business, even your attention is like a business in itself. And because of that, that's what we call big data. And now it's been filtered down to where advertisers and people can see what you're doing. So, like, if you come to my site and I kind of use that and I look at the data set, what's going on, where you're going, what you've done, then I can advertise to you in a fashion that makes sense and almost creepy. To the point where it's like, oh, I was here, I was doing whatever, and it's like now it's like in your brain, and and uh, it's in your brain now, and you've been retargeted, and uh, yeah, so big data is a part of that whole world, but it's not just one. It's just not. It's not Facebook's big data. It's not Google's big data. It's everybody. It's everybody's as a whole, and that's why certain companies will pay handsomely for that one set that they're missing, so that way we can marry the two sets together and be like, okay, mm-hmm. now we make a better product, a better service, or yeah, we advertise that's better. One of the most valuable things online, right? Is, yeah, is, infor- is selling is information. information. Yeah, just even even personally. emails, like the email list. People think that email is dead. Email is not dead. Old school, old school. Uh, Old school like email tactics, like just randomly emailing people, that shit's like totally dead. You know, that's totally dead. But the new school way of handling stuff is very much alive, especially email marketing. And so big data kind of encapsulates the 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 one avenue. And then, then there's the emotional data now. So from from big data, we have emotional data, and emotional data is is the actual customer experience is like how do they react when they see that site how do they react when they see uh you know a countdown timer how do they react when they see colors on the site what you know where when something's positioned in a certain way and i actually teach this stuff and i've talked about this in other videos and then we'll go into more detail, but co- emotional data is very valuable. And as we kind is of, this, as the internet matures, is this it? Um, it? Yeah. So yeah, emotional data. Oh, so like, so for oh, instance, I'll, I'll give you a little example on emotional data in real life. So this is this is real life stuff now, right? Mm-hmm. So because obviously, you know, I've been on both sides of the coin. I've been on digital, and I've been on the f- physical, like real business brick and mortar end. So we used to have big windows in our retail store. Right, it used to be windows. You can see. Make sure it's well lit, and you know we sold video games and toys and stuff. But when it wasn't busy, people kind of like wouldn't want to come in. Like no one wants to go to a shitty party, right? Like no one is no one at the party. But we used to have tables, like physical tables, like gaming table before gaming tables were big. But we used to have tables where people could hang out, <laughs> play games, do whatever they want to do. So we kind of made it like a hangout place. We made it in a step. That's why it became, it became so popular because we made it an experience. It became like an emotional experience. And when people had seen, when people had seen like people walking by, they'd be like, oh, what's that? Oh, there's people hanging out in there and they're playing all kinds of card games and all this electronics and all kinds of stuff. So they were emotionally, because they like, they wanted to be a part of something bigger, right? Because they wanted to know what was going on. Dude, when we had uh, wrestlers, we had, um, we had uh, actually, uh, we used to work with a company, um, PR company, that we used to get actual wrestlers, like WWE wrestlers, to our locations. Now, we would have we would sell tickets previously, but we would have a line wrapped around a city block. I'm telling you, like a quarter mile, and people were just like standing Wait, in line for two. We had like pro wrestlers, like Rey Mysterio, Steve, Stone Cold Steve Austin. Like we had, Literally? yeah, or, yeah, no, oh, shit. yeah, yeah. We actually had yeah. real, they, they would come like once every few months. We have, 
we worked with a promotions company and and we had real wrestlers come to these locations and and uh, people who didn't even know about the store like automatically knew about the store they were like oh shit like oh isn't that a place that like it has that wrestlers mm -hmm. and just because of the line that it wrapped around and it just that's a part of that was a real world emotional data where people we would know we were getting data like oh shit this works so if we had some kind of lull in the traffic during the year we'll just be like you know what why don't we get a wrestler in here we'll kind of bump up the sales because people come in come visit you know like getting that foot traffic you know when you're a small business we didn't have i mean we we were doing good numbers but we still would consider it a small business you know we didn't have 20 locations we weren't publicly traded so like you know we were still technically a small business and we had to use that emotional data we responded to people and said okay we're going to do this we're going to do this now oh, okay we'd have sales that would encompass those people so we had to work around that and now on a um on a digital level <clears throat> The emotional data is very valuable. So, like, is when you emotional data like a subset of big data. Correct. Okay. Yeah. So, so emotional data is a subset of, of big data, but it can't be measured the same, and it's really dynamic. Meaning, like, like what triggers people now can actually annoy people later. You know, um, and it's very, very valuable. And I've seen it even in the sites that that I've uh, I've um, made over the years and transacted on, you know, we would have timers in certain ways. And, like, it's got to be put in a certain way. It's got to be, again, there's a lot of testing, a lot of A-B testing. But emotional data, if you marry it correctly with the big data sets, you have, like, a winning combination, like, unreal combination of being able to, tr to transact. And, in fact, a lot of these, you know, and a lot of these shitty uh, – hmm. The, a lot of these shitty info this marketers, a, yeah, they they prey on the emotional data portion of it, you know. And I'm talking about the shitty guys. Listen, there's a lot of great guys out there who do like have a lot of great value and information, but like these whole like like whole other subset. We're talking about subsets. This whole other shitty subset of people be like, yeah, you know, the only person holding back you is is you, and you're like, pay me. Fifty forty nine dollars a month, and I'll tell you how not to you to you yourself too much. And you're like, oh, okay, you know, it's like I get it. They're spreading some positive vibes, but like, it's just uh, but they're using emotional yeah. data to, right. to 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 take that. This is yeah. interesting. This says there's the tech, you know, uh, big companies are using different technologies to measure it, like with the haptic ads and then facial recognition to detect you know, software satisfaction. Um, I mean, this is like super, super deep when it comes to yeah, like yeah. registering that data and like, you know, like facial recognition. Like yeah, well, because when you go on rides, let's say you go on rides at Disney, right? Yeah. You go on rides at Disney, there's cameras everywhere. That's like super invasive though. That's like, I guess, but you gave what them if permission. You have, what if you have resting bitch face? <laughs> but but you know if you have resting bitch face and they're dropping you and they're like dropping you like twenty floors in three seconds and you're like, and your face changes, you obviously know that they're like, oh shit, this shit works. All right. Or is this the wind <laughs> that changed your face shape? Uh, I get, yeah, yeah. <laughs> if you drop, you know, like they, when they did that, uh, the Twilight Zone ride. Oh, I used to love the Twilight Zone ride, but they changed it into. Uh, <clears throat> What is that like the uh, not the Avengers? Is it the no, um, not the Avengers? What's that one with Groot? Oh, um, what the fuck? Guardians oh, my, of the Galaxy. Guardians of the Galaxy. Yeah, 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 yeah. So it's a Guardians of the Galaxy ride now, but I really love the <laughs> the uh, what's it called? The um, I loved it. Loved the Twilight Zone. So, ride. so wait. So this some brands are using haptic ads. Does that mean like? Does that mean? registering your like vitals or, or wait what is that again so right haptic is like so okay now this this is a, there's a few uh using touch and so yeah so haptic it has a few different so when you haptic settings you're talking about like the touch settings on like a phone or the feedback right right yeah, haptic so it, it really depends on like the application like haptic can be like like they're like oh like every time something happens like oh it vibrates, you know like a Dual Shock controller <laughs> or like Sony, right right or or it uh 
or like for instance um you know you touch here and the, like this yeah. it triggers x you know so it kind of it kind of depends it, it it's it's a really it's broad term it's like calling it you know virtual reality you know it's emotion like is the currency of experience and is an absolute necessity when creating great experiences yeah wow well, yeah adobe yep yeah. so so yeah so essentially emotional data is like a really big thing for this year i actually you know i kind of been talking about it for a while and uh just because i could see it I so, see it, it so it's ultimately a good good thing it's a good thing uh <clears throat> just like companies like keeping it's the, a good thing because it's technology to well because you know what and, but it's out. also it's got multi it's lots of it's very layered uh emotional data so like you have emotional data from like the people you meet in everyday life right and then you have emotional data from like the brands that we see like people you know that's why everybody amazon's got so much power because amazon has created this this ecosystem where the customer can do no wrong and the it's always right no matter what even when they're wrong sometimes and i'm sorry customer that sometimes your your ass is wrong and uh just because they have enough money to throw at it right and they could just always be right it's always you have that tool set um so uh so basically they have conditioned a lot of the people at this point to be like oh well even if amazon isn't isn't like lower priced they just know they're just gonna get a better experience and they don't care and they'll pay the higher price they won't even think twice to go there's a certain subset of customer um who will uh essentially who essentially will go that will be the first course of action is go right to amazon even if amazon doesn't have the product even if amazon doesn't have the product and they're not cheaper. Do you know, believe it or not, Amazon on a lot of products are about 15 to 18% higher. Do you know that? On a lot of products. We're not talking about like things that they're stocking no, and their own brands. Sure. On a lot of products, about my 15, 15 to 18% higher places, right? than if you were had to loyalty. find. Yeah, it's, it's the loyalty. Brand, brand loyalty, yeah. Correct. Because it's, it's, it's the emotional loyalty. <laughs> because people have had, because they're like, oh, you know, I don't want to deal with another company. Oh, I don't want to do this. Oh, I don't want to do that. And that's basically what's happened. And they've created such so, a customer experience. Their user customer experience has actually so created an emotional data tie. As someone who, you know, works with businesses, consults businesses, helps businesses, what would your advice be to increase, uh, I guess, the <clears throat> emotional data, uh, I guess, avenue for, for businesses? That's a good question. So, because, and I'm thinking about fairly on budget. Now, like, if you listen to Jeff talk, you'd be like, it's all about the customer. It's all about the customer. Customer, customer, customer. And, like, you can't, you know, that's great back in 20 years ago when there wasn't a lot of competition, right? And he was, like, the guy who was doing this. And it's really great when you could say that uh, about um, when you have, like, you know, your stock price is over $1,500, and you can use investor dollars to like throw at problems, right? But if you're a grassroots company or organization, you know, you can't give unlimited returns. You can't give free shipping on something that costs, you know, $200, $300 a ship, maybe more, it depends on what it is. You don't have those benefits. You don't have them. So the only benefit you have is the emotional response on the page. So a lot of it starts at the development, like the visual development level of the actual website. And that's why a lot of people are like, oh, yeah, I got this website and whatever. And they, you know, they, they, they think it's pretty. And like I've gotten this where people think that they love their site and think it's pretty, but they don't realize that it's not good. It's not a good user experience. And like it looks pretty, but it doesn't answer questions. It doesn't do this, doesn't do that. So there's a lot of stuff that ha doesn't happen within the first 30 seconds. If not less, probably the fifteen to be honest with you. Right. And it at that level, if you can instill an emotional thing, uh, you could get people to transact. And you can get them not only to transact, but just to have an open communication. So we you know, it's before back in the days of DOS, right? It's a DOS cheap. I actually created I was one of the first people to to do gamification but we weren't able to fully roll out the product product we wanted to because we just you know what i'm saying we just had to go we had to just close up shop with that but we also we were 
able to success, successfully launch um, basically the the experience of being able to offer a bargain, like oh, being able to haggle. So the haggling thing was a big thing. So we had the you know make your own price function. So which is kind of like it's kind of like the eBay thing, but not. I mean, again, this site's older, right? We haven't really rebooted it at all. <clears throat> no, but we had the. The wizard uh, in eliciting or soliciting an emotional response from yeah, the customer. Well, <laughs> so, so yeah, the wizard was great, great. And then there was, uh, but if you go to a product, right? So go to go to like let's say that flashing like drink thing to the right, down down. The girls drinking like a flashing glasses. Oh right? yeah, <clears throat> I don't want that. So so we would have. Oh, it's not. Oh, oh it's, I remember those things in Vegas. So. Uh, uh, you gotta go something right. that maybe is, yeah. What? So you gotta go something that's more that's maybe available. Type in uh, type in a cable or something like that. I don't know. Just type in HDMI or something. Let's see what happens. <clears throat> Magic. So there would be this function that we did, and again, this is a really. I mean, we're, this is this is an antiquated design intent. Okay, we get that. So if like you click on one of those items, right? Just click on one of them. And then you get the, there's a function there. It says, scroll down, make offer. See that right there? So we created, we're like, oh, you know what? We'll do a, a name your own price type of thing, right? <laughs> so you have to log in or register to make an offer. So I was just like, <clears throat> we, so basically it was a haggling process. So you can register, register, and then you would register and then, you know, we tell you why we played a cute video and everything like oh. that. Yeah. Did you don't I have to this watch. It's <laughs> not, don't have to play. It's two minutes. <laughs> it's two minutes long. So, uh, so it, you, you go to it. If you just, re if, if you register, First, <laughs> let's go through some basic, <laughs> by the way, the guy, the guy who, Is did that you? The no, it's not me. The guy who did the voiceovers, by the way, he does video game voiceovers. Wow. He, he, he went to the gaming industry. <clears throat> So like you you register right here. This is just register real quick. Let's see if it works still. Okay. Yeah. Just uh, there you go. And just uh, just put whatever. Shit. And then I want to. It's really funny too because it's it's really I I I was messing with people when I did this. Seven, six, and people would call up. And this is how I know like uh, this is how I know emotional data is a big deal. So click here when ready. So it's just doing this thing. It's validating fields. Let's see if uh, dude, it's like so slow <coughs> now. And but yeah, no. In in order for them to to make an offer, you got to register. So so whether, whether or not you know well, you accept the offer, they're registered now. So they're gonna yeah they're gonna browse the website. Right? Yeah, so they're gonna browse the website. I don't know why it's hanging. Again, I don't even think that anybody even uses this. But anyway, the thing was. Uh, oh, damn! I thought it was. The oh the man! First. <coughs> Let's see. It says, "Oh, it says that the email is already associated to your account." Oh. Maybe you are creating oh, an account already. Maybe I'll sign in for Facebook. I don't know if that does that work. All right, go ahead and see if it works. I don't know if they updated the API. Anyways, but not, but anyway, I wanted to I wanted to I wanted to really show you. It's really funny, dude. It's yeah. really see that this is a, be a bad experience. This is a perfect example of a bad experience at this point, Whoops. because it wouldn't it wouldn't uh, it would take too long to do, you know. Um, so just Control R, Control Refresh, Control R, because maybe it's just not refreshing. <laughs> now go go to a product. Go to that product. Okay, you're in. I can see. My price, I think so. Uh, so HDMI, so HDMI see if it worked. And and basically, it's really funny, dude. I used to get so many people who call up and be like, I got this. I don't want to tell you yet. Hit make offer. Whoops. Uh, uh, just that's all right. You can still make the offer. Yeah, it's just not working. Uh, it's not working. Fuck. Maybe I already just, have may, it. Yeah, just try to see if it works. And no, uh, no, it's it's probably not. Oh, 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 hey. nice! Wow, I did make an account a long time ago. Okay, so that hit make make offer. Never. Wait, where? Right there, make offer. Watch this. 
So this was cool. So we you make an offer on the product, and this is for bulk purchases, right? Mm. So you choose the quantity. You say let's say you put one in, right? And then, Oops. You, right now, a suggestive offer per unit. I'm gonna put down put down fifty cents. Hit confirm. Oh, is it gonna show it to you? Or is it gonna break? I'm so pissed that this doesn't work anymore. So, the th makes for compelling uh, stuff right here. What? Yeah, dude. I don't <coughs> know. It's not Maybe working. It's the internet, or I don't know. Nah, dude. It's probably it's probably the site. It's probably like old JavaScript. You should bring, you should revamp it. I yeah. sh I want to. I want to. But anyway, I'll I'll give it up. I'll give it Control R. Control R that window. I'll see if it if it changes. Try it again. Let's try it one more time. Do I have to put like Just one point zero? No, 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 no. You don't have to do any of that. Put point five, or just put a dollar. Maybe just put a dollar, and just hit. It's not. It's probably not going to reload. <clears throat> it would have did it already. <clears throat> but anyway, I'll tell you what it did. Okay, tell us. I'll tell. I'll tell you what it did. So, so if the offer would, boring. if the offer came in, if the offer came in <laughs> within a certain percentage of of the wholesale cost. Mm -hmm. Then it would send me a notification in the system, and then I would be able to to a, a I would be able to approve that that offer, and then they could check out <laughs> at that price. Mm -hmm. If the offer was too low, which would be too low because it's like we're already a discount retailer, but if the offer was too low, there the joker would come up, the 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 wizard with a joker hat, and be like, "What are you a joker?" It's like I gotta eat. Like it's <laughs> like I actually <laughs> I actually put that there. Like it said, I gotta eat, man. You know, and then like and it's like make a realistic offer. Like That's like funny. like it was realistic. So I mean, I'll show you I guys mean, another just, time. I'm but sure, like you get that all the time. But but the thing was, there people would do. I would see how many times it was triggered, and right. then I had people you call just up. Go go up like a cent and see see if it happens. Well, yeah, but so people used to people used to call up the customer service line, and you'd be like. Hey man, um, I'm having a problem. I'm like, and then, and then a customer service people are like, oh yeah, what seems to be a problem? I'm trying to put an offer in, and uh, it's uh, it's 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 showing me the gesture. I'm like, and they're like, oh really? They're like, yeah. I'm like, I don't understand. I'm like, that's because I was like, what does it read? And I had somebody read it back, and they're like, oh, it says like I gotta eat, blah blah. I'm like, yeah, because the offer's too low. Oh, it is. I'm like, yeah, the offer's too low. We're not even going to consider it. Because I was originally getting offers that were like way, like it was ridiculous. I'm like, it's not, it's a waste well, of time. It's that's a waste. That's you get for giving freedom to well, put well, whatever you want. Yeah, there. that's true. I agree. But it was a waste of time because it was inundating me and our team in general right. with a bunch of offers that were just a I bunch of jokers. How, how eBay does it, you know, just like a, a, a lowest offer, right? Well, yeah, but we just had more or like like we had user won't accept this offer. Cause yeah, it's too low. Exactly, but that but that that was one to one. Think about that with like fifty thousand SKUs, fifty thousand yeah. products. You can't do it like that. No. So so it was funny. So if you went behind below a threshold, we automatically served you the Joker, and it was like the him and a wizard. It was just really funny, man. It was hilarious, and people would call us up. And then I was just like, wow. I'm like, it's so funny that, that these people, really, they were like legitimately like affected. They're like, oh, really? They would get on the phone. Oh, really? Oh, all right. Well, I'll try again, I guess. And it was like this game, and I'd see people try to put more offers in. And it was really, honestly, like for what it was, it was my first foray, I would say, into like seeing the, res the response, the emotional response of people. And it, it was it was initially like I got them to initially do it, and then really, if you want to win, and if you're not the big the big company and you don't have those kind of budgets, you gotta take an emotional route right away, within the first twenty seconds. And we had that you know the banner right there, make your own price. We always talked about it a lot. You know, what I'm saying we we advertise on the site a lot, so that was a big thing. Um, but like I said, ultimately, you know, uh, we were just yeah, we just we weren't so route, basically so. to wrap back around. <clears throat> the advice that you would give to like small businesses the cheapest way that you can elicit 
emotional responses from the customer is to just like make your site aesthetically good, Aesthetic. us usable and just like mm, yeah make like it aesthetically that, right? usable make it maybe may, you know depending on your product or service what can you do the barrier to entrance make them feel comfortable make uh it, uh, offer it's too good to go to to be refused you know a lot of the times even the services we provide uh we'll provide a fr it'll be free the first you know the first seven days we'll just offer for free um because it's no it's like hey man you get to try it we don't want your money mm, and then yeah. it just breaks those down you know so the emotional response is really big um and that's the, the the winning portion of the game and if you can get that down you know and right now it's been you know it's big business it's a lot of it's big business to associate that you know we get this the mentality but uh yeah all right yep we're almost we're at 40 minutes so <clears throat> so next up we have um <clears throat> crypto dave trading crypto Dave. so let's take a look what are we what are we at right now so with the cryptocurrency the bitcoin yeah let's take a look at what i we, mean yeah, what we got <clears throat> going on here like there's more crypto than just bitcoin no i get it but you know what though crypto okay so i want to let everybody know here from my experience and this is actually something we've, that even the bigger exchanges have done now bitcoin is taught is is like the mother of the coins yeah i mean we've talked about bitcoin on the podcast before, yeah yeah so we have talked we about can, it <coughs> so but at the bottom we, just, we can we can gloss over this but right now people are still asking me they're like yeah, should nice. i be should i be upward slope people are still like well should i be investing in it it's not really an investment at this point it's more of a a gamble um like, i know this yearly <clears throat> yearly uh, year to date yeah but depending on where you invested at right if you invested at nine thousand and ten thousand dollars back in 2018 you know you kind of screwed yourself or you still you still haven't recovered you know in the five year span usually what happens in like normal trading you use a five year overall average to see where you're going to be standing no one still knows and it's still I mean, dude for it to go up that means more people are more invested in it there's more yeah. institutional money it, it didn't crash and burn it didn't crash and burn so what does that stand should you be invest should you be day trading it should you probably know. not I don't think you should be day trading it. Not that I'm gonna, uh, but any, I'm not giving financial advice as per lawyers tell me. I have to, I can't tell you that. But like, I will say that personally, trying to day trade it even back then was a disaster. It's still like boof, 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 boof. Even if at like a few percentage, it's like <clears throat> yeah, holds it's it down volatile. to to to. But again, I mean, it's it's relatively young. Like five years is not long in the grand scheme of things so maybe it'll become less and less as as they get closer to the max correct amount, and that's you know? why i think it's still a wise potential investment to throw some money behind but to day trade like, i'm curious how not much a good how idea. much bitcoin is you're is gonna currently lose. out there because it's what 21 million was is the limit right how much bitcoin is there Exists. I think it's there are only 21 billion yeah, million but, could be mined but I think there's even less than that because 17 uh, million in existence only 4 million left to mine as of wait this was a while ago though so I'm not sure what year will the last bitcoin be mined it's like a it is fucking treasure having, hunt here having in, in, in May 2020 so by the time May rolls around, your shit's gonna be worth more. May twenty twenty. Wow, that's coming up. So, with that said, do you drop more money into it before May? What do you think? I Maybe, think I think I right? think it will be. I don't yeah. know, but the day trading though, that's what it, that's what it is. A lot of people yeah. are like, oh, you know, it's up. Oh, I'll cash out and it's down, but then it goes back up again, and you lose, and it didn't go back up as far, and you buy back in, and you lost a hundred bucks, and you can you can lose all the way to the, at to the top, trying to get to the top. You know, it it because it doesn't have any, because it doesn't have any actual. Uh, I mean, you can use it some places, accept it, but it's not a widely accept. Accept, ugh, it's not a widely accepted product. 
And because it hasn't become that way, and I don't think it ever will. Yeah, Yeah, I don't think it's going to – I think it's just going to be another thing like – like nobody buys gold, right? Nobody – you can't go anywhere and use gold, right? Think about that. Right, you could. Somebody may take it. Somebody may take it, but it doesn't mean you're thirteen that, pence. Okay, yeah. Think about it. Like, you want to go buy some. Uh, you want to go buy some. Uh, some some dinner. You want to go to Pollo Loco. You think you can go to Pollo Loco and you'd be like, oh, hold on a second, I got some gold coins here. They'd be like, what the fuck is that? Be like, what is that? But like now, now that's valuable, right? It's valuable. It's, it's that's money. It's whatever, like money. Maybe the person like next to you will give you some cash to buy. Be like, oh, hey man. You need some cash? All right, I'll take your gold coins. But like, but the guy behind the counter is like, well, I I can't do that. I I, I can't take that. I got Jesus boot says, I buy fake gold nuggets just to feel rich. <laughs> <laughs> Dude. Dude, I mean that would you know? You know? If I had some gold, like, bro. At the end of the day, it. I need to eat, bro. Like I don't. I can't. I would just. I can't eat those chain, fucking things. I would make a chain and and pretend like I'm a famous rapper, and just I, I, make some music videos. With they it. made some cool Bitcoin. If you, they have them. The fake, the fake gold Bitcoin things. Oh yeah. My friend's got yeah. one. He works for a fintech company, but it doesn't make any sense though. It's just have a physical representation. Well, it's just kind of cool looking, and it's gold looking. Maybe you can pay. Them. I want to go try that. Go pay for it. Like here you go, dude. Yeah. Um, but I mean, theoretically, any business can accept Bitcoin if they wanted to. Yeah, because the infrastructure is not there, and the infrastructure like, is not I there. Could, I could, but the thing I is, could buy, I could but sell think about you this, Bitcoin. Though. But think and about you this: could sell who, me Bitcoin or services for who the Bitcoin. fuck wants to use? Who wants to? S- if you buy that shit right at a certain price, if you're buying that shit at a certain price, and then all of a sudden it goes up to like three times what it's worth, why in the world would would you want to s- sell it and? And when you in the back of your brain, you're like, oh, maybe this is going to be worth more money. You're buying this burger, and then for like five dollars with a Bitcoin. But if you hold on to it, maybe your Bitcoin will be worth like twenty five dollars in, in a in a month or two, right? Why would you want to even take that risk? <laughs> I could be an e girl and get Bitcoin. Yeah, dude. Like seriously, dude. If I was an e girl, that's all I would accept. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I had a friend once who was who was uh, Bitcoin for t- who was only taking euro back when the euro was strong. He's like, bro, I don't do anything anymore unless I, he he lived in South America. He lived in South America, didn't take, and he worked he worked for other companies internationally. He's like, yeah, I, I don't, I don't, I don't take anything but euro. I'm like, whoa, 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 you're an American guy living in South America, and you're not taking American dollars. No, bro, I'm only taking euro. Oh my god, my god, right. And then he would get paid in euro. He got paid in euro, but euro can be used, you know, to buy a lot of shit. Right. So I mean, maybe probably because of the exchange, right? He yeah. Well, the, he wanted the euro because at one time the euro was one point five six. It was almost. Uh, it was almost one point six of the American dollar. And this was right. years ago. We're talking maybe like fifteen, about fourteen, fifteen years ago. So it was a time that the euro was pretty powerful. What if we got paid in ravioli? Dude, now well, that's a currency I can get behind. What about but taste so what good. type of ravioli though? Are we talking like goat cheese ravioli, pumpkin squash ravioli, Honestly, standard issue ricotta, ricotta, ricotta uh, ravioli? As the, as the you know the Italian on this podcast, there's all types of ravioli now. Get you know it. what I'm saying? We can't just get yeah. can't we gotta, gotta get the gold the gold uh, covered ravioli with the gold. Have you seen those? You have like the caviar with the the gold dust on it. <laughs> it's like seventeen thousand dollars. <laughs> Dude, you can get anything you want if you throw Dude. money at it. See, that's what I'm talking about. First, but, we're talking I, about like waiting in line, and now you can get fucking caviar with like gold dust on it. <laughs> that that see, sort of, you know, off, like it's stupid. it's like, yeah. I mean, what is currency but a trade mechanism? And and if you're you know, if you're giving food for a particular service, I mean, that's people still do that. Well, that's what I'm saying. But the thing is, is I don't want to give you something that I know potentially would be worth more money. Right. For my right. fucking five dollar hamburger. I don't want to do it. But if Bitcoin's a ravioli, like it's not. There's no like. There's a value you could put on Dude, ravioli. Uh, I just the taste. I, the, level the taste of, the taste. of ravioli from where I come from. That's a that's a fine payment. <laughs> Real Matty says, "How much Bitcoin will I get for my kidney?" Well, well, if you go to Venezuela, probably a lot. 
Yo, man, that shit's all fucked up. Speaking of fucked up, let's continue on. Let's continue. Um, let's yeah, let's get into let's, the fun so, stuff so, that we have. So we move on. So to speaking of, of of food products, beyond meat, beyond meat, going so, beyond the meat, sounds dirty, doesn't it? I feel like that could be a that could be in a porn name. Speaking of all these, going beyond the meat. So here, speaking of like, um, what do you call it? Like volatility of certain companies or products, whatever. So this is the stock, you know, chart for Beyond Meat right here. So what the fuck is that all about? <laughs> that page picture. Yeah, I don't know. They just got some random Asian people like on a seesaw. <laughs> it's fucking weird. <laughs> she's like, she's been ejected. <laughs> It's like, yeah, what the fuck? <laughs> it's this, what is, is that a Getty image? They use a shared image to like. Do you think she's like really out of control? Do you think she weighed that much? Is she like jumped on that shit so high that she just went flying off? Look how high she looks. It looks like if she comes crashing down, something wrong, something bad's gonna happen. <laughs> I'm just fascinated. That's by like picture. clickbait. I could use that Beyond in an advertisement. Sucks. Seesaws. <laughs> this is funny. I don't like, know who seesaws the, of like all that. The picture of a seesaw. <laughs> Go <on> this one. <laughs> They're probably like search in stock image of. I'm like, ah, you know, let's let's go a little out there. Like, let's go for the highest. That looks seesaw. Fucking dangerous. <laughs> Sorry. Anyway. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> That's that's I guess, good. That's good clickable that's, content. You right know there. what? It's dangerous invi- investing in in, in in shit that's not real and but re- okay, so real fakeness. It's uh, it rose, but dude, it went through the roof. It started at like thirty dollars, and then over the last year, it went to like a hundred. Look, it says it went to one hundred and thirty-five. It was insane how much it went. People, people were like, oh, this is the greatest thing. Think about if you had thirty-five dollars, right? And then overnight, and like within two days, your thirty-five dollars was worth one hundred and thirty-five, and just you're like, oh, thanks a lot, man. And you pieced out because that's exactly what happened. You look at that stock. You look, look at that, both on the top and all the way down. Yeah, I mean, like I was saying before, like I, I'm seeing it everywhere now. I'm seeing it literally everywhere. I mean, even even the supermarket. Like just like it's right you, up there, and you know what? I had a little bit of that shit, and it's for me as as a and it's as, whack as pseudo vegan. Um, Pse- I actually enjoy it. You know, I enjoy the taste, but I wasn't aware of all the uh, shit that they y- use dude, as a replacement for it. Dude, for you know what's meat. really funny to me? There's a so their competition is called Impossible Foods. The Impossible. So Burger yeah. King's got the Impossible Burger, Burger, Burger. King. I saw that the other day. I was like, right? Oh, maybe I'll go to Burger King for the first time in seven years. You know, just to try it. Just I'm curious. Yeah, be like, let me get my uh, possible burger on at the uh, burger burger <laughs> like place. Completely plant based, no chemicals. No, they burger. don't. They don't talk about anything. Not no, dude. That well, thing they is. Say it's, they do you see how much plant sodium? Based, plant based. You know, yeah, do you know how much sodium is in 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 one of those products, bro? How much salt? And believe it or not, salt's not good for you. Like lots of salt. You're supposed to have. Oh, of course. Yeah. So it's got a shit ton of salt shit ton and it's got if you can't pronounce you gotta replace if the, you uh, can't pronounce the name of, of the ingredients <laughs> then you shouldn't be eating it yeah you shouldn't be eating it no i always and I always, it's funny. I always look at my labels i'm like sodium xenothal trioxate <laughs> like what the, are they fucking in, in a lab just like you know dude, here's, here's a little bit of trioxide i'm not kidding dude oxide. like food science Food science is real science. They are making fucking flavors. I talked to a guy who was on a flight probably like four or five months ago, and I was sitting next to a guy, and uh, we sparked up a con- conversation. Uh, he was an entrepreneur, um, and we were. he was talking like, yeah, yeah, you know, I got these new chips. It's called Pig Out. Pig Out Chips. I'm giving a plug to this guy right now. I don't mm-hmm. even remember his fucking name. I, I think I have his phone number. I don't remember. But like... And he's just like, oh, yeah, you know, like w- this whole food, you know, this whole vegetarian craze is really, really big. It's he's funny like, that you know, the, I started a new company. <clears throat> the advertisement on this article is, is for a Dunkin'. Beyond 
Duo Double G. It's so gross. It doesn't even look appealing. Dude, if you want to eat, if you listen, you want to eat healthy, just eat a fucking vegetable with a little hot sauce on it. <clears throat> Everything tastes better with hot sauce or ketchup. Like, is it really? Like, if the amount of, it's so funny because everybody's in like this pretense like, oh yeah, man, I want to be, well, first of all, okay, and, and I remember our commercials about the vegans are going to hate me. Well, mm-hmm. guess what? I don't give a shit, okay? <laughs> if, because let me, because let me explain something to you. Calm down I love, in the I love animals. Calm down. I love animals. I fucking love animals. Okay. Mm-hmm. I have pet. I have dogs. I had chickens growing up. No, I didn't eat them. I had ducks. I love animals. Right. But we're back in the day, two thousand years ago. No, nobody was trying to be vegan. You know why? Because like, if you were running around. <laughs> In the in, in the Middle Eastern desert, and you didn't have enough fields, and you weren't plowing the fields, and you weren't a farmer, you ate whatever the fuck you got your hands on. That's exactly what you ate. And you know what? Being vegan now is like a designer. It's a designer lifestyle. It's a designer diet. It's very expensive. It's very expensive. It's a it's labor intensive, dude. Go, go. You'd have to. It's not easy. It's everybody's like, yeah, it's just so easy to be vegan. Yeah, I just oh, eat it's like not, it's not. It's but not not people, any male animal byproducts whatsoever. No it's, cheeses, it's not, no fat, no it butters. Can be, no. It can be healthy. Like like I mentioned before, the longest the people who have lived the longest actually have a mostly plant based diet. Yeah, it's but you just said it. Mostly plant based diet. They didn't say they were like I never touch animal product right. at all. And I do it. I mean, I, I, I mean, I'm mostly plant based. I eat meat occasionally when I'm like out and it's like, you know, fancy steak or something just because, but like, I, I feel better. I feel healthier when I, when I absolutely, eat absolutely, diet. absolutely. Like I think it's important. It's yeah. It's important the, to get a lot of vegetables, and, a lot of greenery. And just of like, fruits. I probably would be more of or less of a, uh, a plant based eater if I didn't hear all these stories about. You know this mass producing of yeah, but you of, also live in California. Of, of meat you also live in the and, bread basket of know, the country. How they treat these animals all cooped up there, and I, I heard this from someone the other day. It's like <clears throat> how the animals lived their lives when they were pretty much farmed for meat is like the and the negative end is kind of getting a little bit spiritual. Um, which you gonna get haunted not, by I'm your hamburger? Like, I'm not like haunted hamburgers. Like That's a good restaurant. Exclusively, I keep an open mind. So Dude, when I hear this, I'm type getting of stuff, hot I'm just like, listening about the haunted I'm hamburger good. story. I'm, I'm, I'm keeping an open mind when people tell me these types of things. But it is interesting. Like if you see, like everything's sort of connected in, in a, you know, metaphysical way. And you know, <clears throat> when you think about the lives that these animals lived. The, what they were experiencing in maybe an enclosed environment, being fed you know um r- stuff just so they can get bigger and like get more meat out of them basically it's like yeah. that their life energy is like implanted into the food that we eat and like we're absorbing that unhealthy that that unhealthy that negative, lifestyle yes. of that meat and the quality is is you know re- reflective of correct. that of that meat correct and so i might sound a little high when i'm saying this but i do believe that <laughs> some of that life energy of the animal kits implanted into the food or you know transfers into the food what about the unhappy like, plants oh well there's a lot I of mean, unhappy plants too plants are super easy to to grow and to, they're I super easy they ain't like, super easy to grow bro as i try growing like, I mean, some of this it's shit like, it's, it's like it's like a easy. cause and effect like if you if you don't give a plant sun and water like it's gonna die so it's like if you're eating a plants then it, it like it had to have a a life cycle of, of the sun and water see you know i see, mean it, it plants like emit oxygen as well so listen you know, they get there's the no atmosphere. you're not going to get an argument from me saying that it's not important to eat lots of plants a lot of vegetables and mainly a plant-based diet but i'm not going to tell you you don't the problem with vegans are is that lots of them i'm not saying all of them a lot of them are all about the guilt mentality like i have there's one on my instagram feed that i know and she's like what did you eat this face huh 
oh man, oh well, he's the tormenting animal. I'm just like, listen, dude, if you was two thousand years ago oh, and you were like, you'd be tripping out. Not to mention, if you airdropped my ass in the middle of a jungle somewhere and I was just walking around the jungle and I just happened to be in front of a lion or a tiger, you don't think that mofo would come down barreling and try to eat my ass? Come on, man. Let's be real. <laughs> Let's really be real about. It. I think the vegan movement is. Uh-oh. Oh, uh oh, uh oh, went oh, down. I just went. We went, went down. Black. We went black. One of us went black. <coughs> Anyways, one of us went black. I'll just replace the battery so, later. So, uh, but, but yeah, just I want to So we got a whole conversation in the chat right here. They're talking about. Um, hang on. Sorry, guys. I haven't been keeping up with it. Um, so many. I love can, bread. <laughs> I love bread too. Can me and Maddie get on the podcast? We could talk about what the deal is with airline food. <laughs> I eat grass. My mom told me I'm like a cow, so I started eating grass. Dude, you know, we grass. I've been smoking that grass too. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Soon to be. You know, um, airline food though, right? I mean, well, they what's have the a, deal with that. They have a vegan options. They actually have vegan options now on um, on airlines. Believe it or not, they have vegan options and Impossible burgers. they have vegan options and then they have uh, kosher options. And mind you, uh, the kosher meals are always the better meals. Oh, I think that's why the stock raised so much is like they're saying um, they uh, serve an alternative to pork. And that's like a very like, you know, if you have an alternative to pork, like Muslim people will. Yeah. yeah. Because it's not pork. And they it's not pork, but it just tastes just like pork. Yeah. It's just, you know what, dude? It's just like science, bro. And it's not, you know, the thing about it is, is like, listen, if if it was really all natural, like they say they claim it is, then I wouldn't be so averse to it. But, like, dude, I've looked at that shit. I've eaten it. Like, I don't, dude, it's just like, oh, I'm like, this is, this is not, this, this is not healthy for you. Like, you're worried okay. about being healthy. <clears throat> and then like you know getting health out of the meals you have and you're really just substituting with some weird shit because you don't want to eat x or y because you think it's bad for you right or you feel bad you got that f the, or like you know the guilt mentality the vegan guilt mentality it's like you shouldn't be eating animals yeah and, right here so <clears throat> that's after, the impossible after privately held rival impossible burger said it was adding a pork substitute to its plant-based menu it would uh dude it's introduce Plant for lamb, substitute. goat, fish, and dairy. Dude, it's just weird. Think about that. You've got to... These things are all being manufactured. They're all being manufactured. Yeah. Dude, the, the shit, the, it's, it's like science, like, it's like Bill Nye the science guy, man, in your, in your fucking hamburger. It's well, just, I mean, I'd rather just we'll, not... <laughs> soon we'll all be uh, drinking, you know, you know the Soylent stuff? Like those, the drinks that have all the essential nutrients that we need to and that's have a balanced the, nutrition yeah, but you like, know that's what we're ultimately going to be drinking like t 10 years down we're just but gonna, people like, don't like, understand we're too. gonna take those little capsules i don't know if you've seen um that movie like it's a futuristic movie on the train but like they basically had this like cube you just eat it and then that's your meal for the whole day and like it has you know everything that you need to survive. but people love tasting i like the taste of shit though <laughs> I like the taste and stuff. I listen. I like bacon. I want to eat. I want to eat crunchy bacon. I had vegetarian bacon a few That's why uh, people a make few weeks ago. Veggie bacon, and it was weird. The consistency was weird. That's why people Didn't make careers taste out of out of cooking. Like if there was no food industry and we just ate the same stuff, then there would be no industry. I, I that's what I'm saying. Yeah. But like the whole idea of having all this science. First of all, you don't. It's really not that healthy for you. It's under the pretense of being healthy. Yeah. Number two, wait 20 years after some guy's been pounding down What's it called? Uh, um, impossible burgers every day of his life and see how that works out for him. You know, it's just like, listen, either sh don't don't straddle the line. Pick snow a side. Snowpiercer. Snowpiercer. Don't straddle it. Um, pick, pick, a, pick a side. Either you're going to go you're gonna go more plant-based, going to eat less meat. I hope we don't get flagged for this, but... <clears throat> You know, we're always getting flagged of something. <clears throat> that doesn't even look good. Is that what it is? That's what... Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> protein block. This is literally... That looks... Gonna be... 
Oh shit, I forgot about this part. Yeah. Like this is the reality of <laughs> of what the cubes are. Yeah, dude. Anyways, that's how that's with those cockroaches. They do yeah, that in like they did that in China chi already. Cockroaches, yeah. You saw I saw that yo know, on our other podcast, if you guys watch it, like we talk about that, about the cockroach guy. Oh, that's right. Yeah. So that's pr yeah. how long ago was that? 2014? Oh, like they were pro they they probably knew what was up already. They're like, oh, we got some cockroach guys here. Yeah, it's like a thing. Oh, weren't we talking about? We were like talking. The oh, we were talking about spam. That's what we were talking. Yeah, about also. that shit's weird too, <laughs> dude. Like, I don't know, man. Tell tell, like, tell your spam story. I don't know. I can't tell the spam story. So you can watch is, the other video. What is spam? What is spam? First of all, spam. It's it, not. Maybe not a lot of people will know what actually what spam actually is. It's the it's dude. It's just boiled out like reject whatever like you couldn't use in the in the pig, and just they threw that shit together. It's leftovers. And it's cooked in the can, like so that way, like that's why it's got that gelatinous weirdness to it because like it's they don't put the the gel into the can with it. It's actually the byproduct that comes from cooking it inside of it. So it's kind of like, <laughs> and now so it's you, a commodity. Like, but you, know, dude, you go to places like you got to spend extra to eat that shit. When I was a kid, you, I was poor, and then like my parents were like we got spam today. I'm like, oh, like like now it's just it's like you go to perception. places, you go go to places, and like yeah, we have these cool spam. I'm like spam. I don't want no spam. What if it's gold dust on spam. Then it's <laughs> <laughs> what if it's gold plated spam? Dude, and that goes to marketing. See, marketing's so powerful. You could just, I think you can make anything fucking look delicious. <clears throat> um, I got Jesus Boot says, what got you started on this channel? Um, good question. Um, talk a little bit about well, what, what, what well, sort of what this, I feel like a lot of people don't know, you know, what this podcast is. So maybe, maybe we can give them a, a little bit of an, I <clears throat> an idea of uh, the sort of things that we talk about. And so, yeah, so coming up. So First of all, Follow us, you know, on Twitch. I think you're from Twitch, right? Or you, yeah, it looks or, like. Or YouTube. Go get a podcast. I'll give you so, the links in the video. Um, yeah, Twitch and YouTube. Make sure you subscribe to us. We don't charge Just, anything. It's free. It's completely free. Yeah, we're not charging anybody. Yet. We don't <laughs> charge people. I don't know nothing to charge for. I'm just kidding. Get on the, you know, we don't know we're nothing just to out, prove. We're hanging out, dude. <laughs> this is a conversation with all y'all, so. Um, and just so if you have any questions for us, if you want to discuss anything, so you know. so if they're asking what how we started this, well, well, two two reasons. One, I've been an entrepreneur since like a very really long time, and uh, I always had a lot to say and uh, no one to say it to, and I just wanted. And I used to talk to well, this you've guy. Been saying it to a lot. <laughs> I've been saying it to a lot of people for years, but like it was a closed circuit. And then, um, and then you, and then you, I started like, we started having conversations and I realized that we had a conversation. It would be like a 45 minutes to an hour. And we're like, Hey man, I'm like, yeah. do you realize this? And he's just like, Ugh. and then you go back and forth with me. I just make it. Yeah. Well, saying. yeah, yeah. Just like that. <laughs> right. So and I'd have the conversation with you and I was just like, you know what? I'm like, we should, this should be on a podcast. Like our conversation, this, this yeah. should be really like, I'm like, this is really interesting shit to talk about. And I figured like other people would be interested in, in listening. Yeah. So, and I, that's really kind of how it got started. So it's a little bit about business. Yeah, it's an it's an outlet. It's not you know an avenue to create content too that maybe other people can be interested in, in chiming in on. It's not a so it's not an so, egotistical you, act. It's like it, some people might think, oh, like yeah, okay. everyone's starting. Everyone their mom. Yeah, is starting dude. A podcast. Okay, so everybody like, thinks they're a marketer. Everybody's got a fucking brand. Everybody's like wants to start a podcast. You know, and, and and everybody's just kind of jerking each other, and that's what, like that's like if you watch some of these these podcasts, everybody's just like, oh yeah, this is oh 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 oh, and like every everybody is just like kind of like just touching each other in awkward ways, and really like I just we're just I'm just here to tell you what's gonna work and what's not gonna work, yeah. and and what you should be doing to prepare for the shit that is gonna work, because. There's a lot of people lying to you, man. There's a lot of people lying. There's a lot of people. There's a lot of noise. Yeah, there. there's a ton of noise. And I was just, dude, I was fed up. I was fed up. And that's really the reason for this. Because I just, I, it's just, it's just ridiculous. And also, we'll bring other people on as well to get their opinions of, of certain things and, <clears throat> you know, different 
like we want to incorporate business as well. Well, yeah, right? I mean, but we touch on business every every episode. We yeah. touch on light, you know. Sometimes we go a little deeper in. Today, I think like we talked a lot about business yeah. beyond. Oh, Any anybody yeah. watching here, you know, can leave their nine to five job to pursue something bigger and have a more free more free life. So absolutely, sort of, but you got to do it the right way, yeah. not the stupid way. And there's there is a right way and a stupid way to do it. But you know? yeah, we also want to advocate for. It, it's for people to pursue their dreams. So, like, know? when people come, when like people come here to, to, dreams, to California man. and they just leave everything with no business plan or no action and no backup, and they just like, I want to be an actor model, dude. Every single person I met is an actor model or actor, you know, actress model. Like, oh, I do an act, I'm an actor. Everything's like, yeah. act. The only thing they're doing is acting up. That's the only thing. When they're like, oh, I'm just an actor model, and they just go back. I mean, like, that's not how that's not how it goes, man. I mean, even when I moved out here, people asked me that shit too. I mean, you sort of did it. No, 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 no. I didn't sh- sort of do it. Just so you know, okay. So if you find me on YouTube, right? Obviously, you could you could find like old videos of me. And I did. Uh, I had, had people on here asking about. Oh, what happened? Oh, I, I, I had. I mean, had. That, that is technically I was on a character. TV. Yeah. I mean. But I was, but it was for my business. I, I, it was my, it was my forum name. Just so everybody knows, that was my forum name that I had originally when I was with video, when I was with Games USA slash Video Game Central. When I first started that, that was my forum name. So I didn't know what to like present myself at. I mean, it was like that was just a gamer thing to do. That was it. Like that was that's what I used, and then you know, I kind of went on with this. My tag was back in the way back in the day. And I still play old games. Um. <laughs> Asian kid 108. <laughs> I was like, and then my best friend was Greek man um, 107 or something like that. It was just like, we were very like, you know, like we put ourselves in, in a box basically. Yeah, yeah. Like, oh, is this guy Asian? I must be. Yeah, He's Asian man. You know, secret Asian man. But no, but that's cool. That's cool. I mean, listen, dude, whatever worked at the time, you know? And that's what I'm saying. I'm not a. I'm like. I'm like. Oh, I, I did the, the this. I had a character. Yeah, I had a character, but I had a business. I was. That was just like an arm of what I did. That's basically like I like doing video game reviews and shit and the the accessories and all the cool stuff and dealing with the companies. You know, people used to ask me to like. Oh, it was the last game you played. I'm like, this is the last game I played, but this is the last game I beat, which was like 15 years ago. Like I haven't beaten a game in years. Like I play all these new things every so I, I you know play, I touch on it, you know. I don't get to play a lot of video games, you know, over the past few years. I do, you know, play fighters still. Um but like yeah, even the new, new uh, even the new sh- combat was pretty good. Even the new shit, like I'll play it and I'll never beat it. And cuz I just don't have the time. I'm not going to invest all that time into it, man, cuz it's like, you Did know, you play, invest uh, into a business and myself. I what? heard really good things about it. Yeah, it's awesome. Feeling. It's fucking insane. <clears throat> but you just play it for a little bit, and it's like, oh, I get too yeah, good. Well, I get, yeah, I get good with one or two characters. The kind of beast, good, get, and then I get yeah. cocky, and I think I can go to Evo, and I and I come out of one pool like I did once before, and I'm like, yeah, kick your ass, and then <clears throat> fucking, I just yeah. get s- slaughtered. I read a lot of game news and listen to a lot of game podcasts. There's a it's problem. like there's, there's, so many di- there's so many more. I mean, it seems to be less like triple A, or maybe there's the same amount of triple A, but also there's like, you know, in, indie well, developers like making all these cool, innovative games that are maybe well. So what's going on? Scale and also like v, with VR and stuff. So there's a lot more like in the pool, I think. Well, That's what's going on is like they they re, they launch a lot less new games, AAA <coughs> titles, and they're just adding packs onto shit. So like, you, you know, it's like they sell the core game. And it's like, oh, you want this update? It's another thirty bucks. Oh, you want another thirty? Twenty? And I saw this shit coming down the pipe. I actually, I remember when uh, this dude, his name was Seth, who read for uh, Capcom, and Capcom was like one of the early guys who did this shit for console, at the console level. I'm just like, yo, what's up with this, man? I'm paying like at the ass. For, like, he's like, oh, people pay for it. This is what we're doing now. I'm just like, oh, okay. And then like, and that's what they do now. So it's, uh, yeah. So anyway, but that's what it was. my name was. I, it was a character, and I didn't come to, to California to like, you know, be like oh you know i wasn't trying to get like you know famous i just ha- happened to like tv i was i had like an agent in new york passively when i was in between like jobs i was already working in queens and manhattan was just a hop skip and a jump away but i didn't drop everything i was doing to do that 
like some people could drop everything they're doing to like go into Hollywood and thinking they're gonna like and then like oh I, you, I can't afford any any food but like bro you got to get your act together you got to be smart about shit and that's what I mean by smart about stuff and in this podcast I'm gonna teach you guys how to be smart because yeah. I'm just so sick of hearing fucking people like be like, oh yeah, I just don't know food or eating shitty food like fucking beyond bullshit. <laughs> Science. There's some places that actually um, they use what's those little the brown pea things? Lentils. Yeah. No, no. Talking lentils. about lentils. Like lentils, I think they also make. They use with that, the, but also um, the garbanzo beans. They, yes. have, they actually use. You you know everything that goes into the burger because they actually make it themselves. So that like, don't confuse that. With, no, we're with not that, talking about. Yeah, I'm talking about like that specific. process because this shit is processed, bro. And when we mean process, we mean we're talking about it, it has but chemicals I, and yeah, shit. But and I feel like Impossible Burger. Um, what's the other one? It's beyond uh, the beyond, beyond meat. Beyond like all these yeah. things are sort of put in the same bucket as like substitute to meat, and I think that's dangerous because some. I feel like a lot of places have alternative to meats that actually kind of taste like meat and are actually healthy for you yeah but because they have the based. certain the only thing that can really like that naturally be healthy for you to taste like something if you had like a let's say a, let's say you have a a, a burger a veggie burger right yeah. and the veggie burger is being homemade and they're using uh you know maybe they're using lentils or they're using um uh, tofu or black beans whatever they make a mixture yeah. too and they get it together and then let's say they put teriyaki sauce on it or are they or are they putting a uh, paprika or whatever? They're putting more natural, you know, spices as if they were going to cook it like that, and they cook it like that. Or maybe they, they deep fry the outside and then like the inside's a little chewy, so they kind of do that. That's different. That's like you're trying to yeah. you're trying to cook it the way you would cook meat. So therefore, in your brain, it kind of tastes like this, but you can still taste the grittiness, and it's not the same. But the thing is, it's like that's still a healthy alternative to what we got going on now. Because that stuff, they're trying to really, like, because it still tastes different. It doesn't taste exactly like meat. So, like, you just have to accept the fact that if you don't want to eat meat, then don't fucking eat meat. That's it. Eat nuts. Eat the meat. Eat nuts don't, instead for protein. That, yeah, bro. Be a small foraging <laughs> I eat bear. Nuts. I eat nuts like, and berries like me. I eat nuts. That's how I keep the girl's figure intact. Nuts and berries. So, okay. So, anyway. That was... That's what we're at about. So we're at about time. At about time. So, all right, Eric, guys. Well, at if you guys time. are watching us on mobile, uh, don't forget to go to youtube.com forward slash David Scarpetta. You do need that soundboard. I'll bring it next time. And then um, if uh, – don't forget to follow us. on. I'll have the links in the description, the link to the actual uh, podcast channel. Don't forget to subscribe there. So if you're watching this, it will pop up in a little bit. Um, as always – um, this is the best podcast on the internet because we don't have an agenda. The agenda is you. You're the agenda, my friends. You are the agenda. And, uh, yeah. So, yeah, I'll just pop up your name one more time. So until, next time until next so that's, time. Until next time. That's Dave. It's time Wait, to do on, the impossible. Right, it's time to do the impossible. Switch it here, and then that's me. Follow us T on our social. A, subscribe, until, until like, the, share. You know, fight the good I'll do fight. All the things in the sidebar and the and down bar and, and the here bars come, and, and here the comes. Here, 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 here we go. Let's here, rap. Here, let's oh, go. Here no, we go. This is when I gotta leave. When he gets us rapping. Let's go. Screen. Peace.